What was your perspective on the media game when you were watching Tax Stone come up back in the day? I know you probably just were a fan uh, watching. What do you think you, of that rise? You, ooh, you, oh, mother. What? <laughs> you went there with it. Yeah. Yeah, I really, um. It's kind of crazy in retrospect. I was in it. All right. Let me give you, give you some stuff that people might not know. Right. Um. Troy Ab is from my hood. Ah. But he's like the generation after me. Okay. Or rather, I was hanging with the generation before his. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I, you know, we used to do some, we used to do some wild stuff back in the days, mm. right? I'm sure. And there was a, there was an occasion when we, we was in East New York. Yeah, and you know. And there was some some guys. They were they were really upset at us being flamboyant, and um, <laughs> you know, firecrackers. So when he started dissing me, and I started doing my homework, I thought he was one of those guys. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, well now he's got a he got a podcast now. He remembers, and he's, you know, now he's this is my revenge because I didn't know why he was dissing me. Right. I was like, does he think I run with Troy? Because Troy's from, I don't know. I didn't know why he was doing that. But the sad thing about Tax is, had he not done that, I would have been a fan of him. Oh, yeah. But he just decided to, to, to pick beefs with people that's from where, not necessarily the area he's from, but like, we're from Brooklyn. Right. Why are you starting with... People, people from Brooklyn. He went on Vlad, he talked a whole bunch of shit about me. And my only response was, yo, you look like the type of dude that um, you're gonna put your people in the line of fire. So um, if you're not that guy, you know such and such, they know me, contact them. And if you really got an issue, we can handle it. Right. If not, I'm not saying another word. Right. So he did the whole posting his location, you know, and all that stuff on the, and I was tempted. <laughs> I was tempted. I was like, you know, I could just be like half a block away and just scare everybody. You know what I'm saying? But right. I was like, nah, this is dumb. Yeah. Not doing this. Post everybody post saw this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Anything happen with somebody fall and fall on a nail. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, Math Hoffa. Uh yeah, we, we we need you to come down to the station. Like stupid shit. Mm. I said, nah, this this is stupid. The night that that shit happened with him and Troy Ave, uh -huh. I got a call from Five Mics. Shout out to Five Mics. Shout out Five Mics. Keeps coming up on my podcast. He um he was a uh, he was running with T.I. at the time. Right. And if everybody remembers, it was a T.I. show. He was telling me to come come out. I was writing some battle shit last minute, and I couldn't. I was like, nah, bro, I got I to gotta lock in, or this is going to be an embarrassing situation. I got to finish this shit. I get with you another time. Right. So I would have been there that night. Wow. And I would have ran into this guy who was on Vlad calling me pussy and all types of shit the same night. Wow. Troy Ave went through. And he took, rest in peace, Banger, mm -hmm. who's one of the coolest guys. Really? A, 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 a supporter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the whack part about it is even though I didn't go, my baby mom was pregnant at the time, and later on that night, I walk into the other room, and she's crying. And I'm, you know, focused on my rounds. I'm like, what, what, what happened? She's like, yo, they killed Banger. I was like, damn. She was like, yo, we need to go to the hospital right now. Huh? Y'all were like that with him? Yeah, she, her, her best friend uh, was his girlfriend. Okay. And actually the godmother of my daughter. Wow. So, drove out there. I spoke to Maino about it on the show. I was like, yo, I was out there that night and I saw you sitting by yourself and I was like, something going through his mind, I'ma just leave him alone. 
I said what's up to all the other people that's out there. And um, later on, you know, of course, I got the story. You, 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 f you figure out the details, and then it comes out to the public. Right. And I'm like, wow. This guy who had an incredible voice, but felt like it was necessary to go at people where he was from, mm. which put him in a position where he felt like he had to carry something to protect himself from the shit that he was instigating. Yeah. Look how that played out. And meanwhile, like seven years later, here we are, six years later, whatever, this whole podcast game has been unfolding. Mm -hmm. Millions of dollars. Millions. People making. And he would have been right. He would have been at the, at the forefront. fucking top. But is and that, he hasn't a, gone is that a good thing? He hasn't taken on the trial yet. Right. But here's the thing. Is that a good thing? Because I think people would have gotten the wrong impression of how you're supposed to podcast. It's definitely a cautionary tale, you right. could say. That's why I tell you, you know, if I got an issue with somebody, I'm not even going to talk about it. I mean, Tax was basically like a drill podcaster because he was basically doing all the shit that we're used to drill rappers doing. With right. Really being like that, taking shots at whoever the fuck he didn't like, mm -hmm. and then really actually not being scared of what was coming to him. Like, he moved around I, like he I was ready to do it. I can't agree with that. I can't agree with well, that. Well, I mean, maybe you know stuff, but the way he rolled to that show and the way he got the, down to listen, me is like, oh, you were really going to do that. It's a, it, it, Going on the run... Mm. Is a reflection of fear, also. Well, but I mean, that's you cool. dig what I'm saying? Yeah, but right. If you're wanted, don't you just kind of get out of Be town? Right. Being in a position where, like, I can imagine myself being in a club with a gun. Right now, back in the days, yeah, that that was the always strap when we hit the club. Right. But now, when I can afford security. Why would I do that? Why would I be the guy? But let's be real. Tax was probably like just getting to the point in his career where he could have maybe afforded to have security. Probably didn't even cross his mind, really. Because right. it was like he had just blown up. He was only hot for what? Like a year? Hmm. Maybe two years if you were listening to him from the very beginning. Right. And he, and he, had, he had a lot of people behind him. Yeah. But, real money. But look how it played out. Mm. But okay, if if I and I did not know most of that actual history between you guys. Yeah, it's cool. But I'm just saying, if I had asked you at that time what you thought of podcasts and what you thought of that career path, what would I you? I would have thought it was a bunch of people just talking shit. Yeah. And there was nothing real, real about that mm. because, you know, my my impression of him was that he was somebody I was never gonna run into by himself. Mm. You know what I mean? What well, is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's Same crazy. But, uh, okay, let me ask you this. Final question. You're in New York, man. You're not worried? About what? You know, people getting revenge. For what? <laughs> For all the East Coast rappers that have been taking, you know, bad I'm things been happening. City. I'm from New Hampshire. <laughs> So if I get smoked for what a bunch of L.A. gang members did to some East Coast rappers, hey, that's crazy. You got me. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.